Welcome to the Azure Communication Services video library. My name is Dan Wallin. I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft. And in this video, we're going to talk about how Azure Communication Services can be used with Teams. And we're going to talk specifically about Teams Interop and some of the different scenarios where you might want to use these two technologies together. So with that, let's go ahead and jump right in. So let's start things off by talking about how we can customize the Teams meeting join experience for anonymous users. This is an experience you can take advantage of on web apps, mobile apps, or even desktop apps and allow any anonymous user to join into a Teams meeting. And a little bit later in this video, I'm going to show a demonstration of how you can make this happen. And you can even play around with this directly in your browser. So who can join Teams meetings? Well, if you work with Teams a lot and use it for all of your calls in your enterprise, for example, or organization, then we know that people in your organization can join those meetings. But there's more. We could also have people in trusted organizations joining. We could have special guests that are assigned to join. And then, as we're going to talk about throughout this video, we can even have anonymous users join. They can supply a display name so we know who they are, but then they can join into a meeting as long as they have the Teams meeting URL. We'll explain how that works in just a moment. So the tools that we're going to be using for this are, of course, Azure Communication Services because it supports Teams Interrupt. And then a little bit later in the demonstration, I'm going to be using a Teams client as well so that we can start up a meeting and then have that anonymous user join that meeting from just a regular browser. Now, before I show the demonstration, let's quickly talk through some of the features that are associated with Azure Communication Services and anonymous joins to Teams meetings. First off, when it comes to the Teams meeting join feature, we have a really simple setup. We can integrate a Teams meeting join experience into any product with just a few lines of code. It's also highly customizable when it comes to the UI. You can start by simply prototyping and using what I'm going to show you momentarily, or you can build a custom UI that fits in with your needs. You also have Teams Control. Your Teams administrator controls the user experience for Teams Anonymous users. So to take advantage of this functionality, you'll have to ensure that your Teams administrator has enabled it. Now, a Teams user can then jump right into the Teams desktop, mobile, or web app to communicate with the anonymous user that might be joining the meeting from a custom app that you wrote. You can also bring your own identity. Developers can allow any identity to join a Teams meeting and automate the display name from internal systems such as a CRM or an identity provider. And as mentioned earlier, you can do this in your web apps, your mobile apps such as Android or iOS, and even in Windows desktop apps. So let's get started by walking through a quick start that's available in the Microsoft Docs. And then from there, I'm going to show you how you can actually use just a browser to get this going as well. If you go to the aka.ms slash ACS dash Teams Interop dash calling link that you see on your screen, you can get to this quick start. Join your calling app to a Teams meeting. Now you'll notice right at the top that you can choose web, mobile, Android or iOS, or Windows desktop app. Now I'm going to do web app and I'm going to walk you through this particular quick start, but I'm actually going to jump to the UI library. This is an online way to play around with ACS composites. I've talked about composites in some previous videos if you're interested. But let me walk you through this quick start first, and then we'll show you how it works in action. So first off, if you want to get to the sample code and just run it directly, you'll have to do a little bit of setup work to make that happen. But you can go to GitHub to get the sample code. Now, if you want to do it kind of from scratch, then you could create an HTML file such as index.html and add this, you'll notice it just has a few basic things. It has a button, has a little span for the recording state, and has a reference down here to a JavaScript file, app.js. Well, app.js is right below, and this is all the code to hook into the DOM, the document object model, and then handle click events, and then join the meeting. So in other words, do the Teams interrupt to make it where this web app, if it were running, could actually call into a Teams meeting. Now, what I'm going to do is rather than copy and pasting this, let's show another way we can do this and see how all this works with the Teams Interrupt and an anonymous user. So I'm going to go to the link that you'll see at the bottom of your screen here to get to the UI library. I've shown this in some of the other videos. 
what I'd like to do in this case is go to the call composite on the left here, and then I'm going to go to the join existing call. Now you can read up on how this works. They'll have some code for you, things like that, but I'm going to hit preview. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I need an access token and user ID. Well, I'm going to run off to the Azure portal to an ACS resource I've already created. If you're new to this, I have another video on using the Azure portal to actually create your own Azure Communication Services resource. And from here, I'm going to click on Identities and User Access Tokens. So I'm going to go in and check what we want. Let's say we want voice and video, and who knows, maybe later I add ACS chat. So I'm going to hit Generate, and notice I get an identity and a user access token. So let's go ahead and paste this. I'm going to paste this into the identity, and then we'll go ahead and paste this into the token. For the display name, I'm going to go ahead and put my name, Dan Wallin. And then notice we need a Teams meeting link. So let's imagine that the anonymous user received an email that has this link they can join and then they can add it. Now, obviously we need a meeting to make all this happen. So I'm gonna run off to Teams. I'm in the browser in this case, but you could use the mobile app or the desktop app to do this. Now I'm just gonna trigger a meeting right now. So I'm gonna hit meet. From here, I'd select my camera, my mic, all those different options, but I'm just gonna join without that. And now that I'm in here, I can invite people to join and notice a copy meeting link. Now, if for some reason you didn't have this, you can go up to people, share invite, and then copy meeting link. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump on back. Now, what I'm gonna do is pin this over to the right. And then we'll pin this one over to the left. So I need to go ahead and paste in that Teams meeting link right here. And there we go. Notice it's initializing. I could choose my camera and my mic, but I'm anonymous at this point, but I'm gonna start a call. Now watch what happens here. So we're joining. We're now waiting to be admitted. So if I go on back, let's close this down. There's my display name. I'll go ahead and admit myself. I'm gonna make sure we're muted and there we go. We can now talk with this anonymous user into an actual meeting that's running in Teams. Now that's an example of how you can actually do this without even writing any code. But as mentioned, if you'd like to go through the quick start, you can also do this in a completely custom app. Well, thanks for watching this video on Azure Communication Services and Teams Interrupt. If you'd like to learn more, you can go to the URL on your screen and not only learn about Teams Interrupt, but also other features that Azure Communication Services offers. Feel free to check out our video library as well because we have several other videos that will give you information about other technologies that are available. We'll see you in the next video.